let's try to solve a few questions on this specific topic on of directions and distances and let's see uh, what can be the challenge in that it's actually not very challenging so the question can be something like this that uh, a person started walking from a point and he started walking let's say 10 kilometer northwards and then he walked 6 kilometers southwards then he walked 4 km in east direction and then he uh, basically you know uh, and, and, and then he turned northwards and walked 5 km towards the north. So now you have to find the distance from the original point. They may club it with something else, they may ask you now he catches a train which travels at this much of or he catches a car which travels at 10 km per hour. Uh, and then how much time will he take or you know let's uh, uh, we'll, we'll cover that you know anyway so how do we approach these questions this is the kind of content you are going to get in every single question so how do we uh, take care of that always 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 in these questions just start with a point and always draw first of all to begin with first of all you have to draw this this is north south east i'm sorry this is west and this is east Never make this mistake which I just made. Now, the person walks 10 km northwards. So let's say the person starts from here and he goes from here to here. This is 10 km let's say. And then he walks 6 km southwards. So he is northwards. He's, now he's here and he walks 6 km southwards. So he comes back here and this distance is 6 km. Now he walks. 4 km in the east. He walks 4 km in the east. Then let's say this is 4 km. And now he walks 5 km in the north. So let me draw a bigger diagram. This is a too small a, a diagram to clarify things. So let's say the person starts from here and the person walks 10 km northwards. Yeah, that's a bigger diagram. This will make more sense to you all. Right? So this is north direction. This is the original point. Let's call it O. The person starts from here, walks 10 km in north. Right? Not a problem. After that, the person goes 6 km southwards. So the person goes, in a way, the person goes back 6 km southwards. So the person comes, so let's say here. So now this is 6 km, right? So this is 10, this is 6. So this part is automatically 4 km, right? Now after that, the person is here now, after that the person walks 4 km in the east. So this is east, so the person walks 4 km in the east and after that the person walks 5 km in the north. So 5 km in the north. So this distance is 5 km. So now tell the distance of the person from the original point. This is the final point, let's call it F. So you have to find the distance of OF. How do we find the distance of OF? Very simple. We know the method of calculating distances. We just need to find this distance. Right? Please remember that this part is the most important part. You know, this drawing of diagram is the most important part. So if you haven't understood this, just, just you know, revise the video once again. Because these calculations are easy. Right? So now we need to find the distances. So it's very simple. In order to find this, we need to know this and this. How much is this? We know this much is 4 km. We know. We don't, we don't know this much. Or do we? 4 km is this much. And beyond that 5 km is this. So total is 9 km. So now we know that this is 4 km and this is 9 km. So OF is square root of 4 square plus 9 square. That is square root of 16 plus 81. That is 97. That will be something around 9.7 or 9.8 or something like that. 9.8 kilometers or something. So that's how the answers are going to be. That's how the questions are going to be in this in this in this kind of you know in this scenario. So let's take another question and try solving that. We'll solve four or five questions in totality and we'll learn all the possibilities which are there in this case. Now let's take another question which is which is slightly of different nature and which calls for different things. Now uh, let's say the question says that there is a girl called uh, called Neha and uh, Neha starts, uh, Neha wants to go to school. So Neha wants to go to school 
and Neha's track is given. Distances are not given. Distances we don't want to calculate. The question says Neha first of all goes towards north. So please understand in these questions the moment you start reading start drawing. So Neha initially goes to north. She goes towards north and then after that she turns towards left. She is going towards north. She turns towards left and walks a little towards left. How much we don't know we don't care. Then she turns towards right. Right. And after that, after turning towards right, Neha turns towards left once again and reaches the school. Somewhere here her school will be. So which is the most probable direction of her school? So this was north. This is Neha. So this is very easy now. It's very easy to guess. Which direction is... So Neha school will be somewhere here or here or here or here or here, somewhere here. So whichever direction it is, it will be somewhere close to northwest. So northwest becomes the answer to this question. Right? The directions were given. Neha started towards north, then she took a left and walked, then she took a right and walked, then she another again took a, took a left and walked. In that case, and then her school arrived. So in that case, her school will be in the northwestern direction. Can these questions be solved like this always? Let me let me amend the question a little. The, this question only. Let me change it a little. Let's say Neha started from a point. She walked towards north. And then she took a left. Right? And then she took a right. Same thing again. Neha Neha's started from, starting from here. Going uh, towards north. Then taking a left. Going here. Taking a right. Going here. And then again taking a right. And then her school arrives. Now can you tell which direction her school will be in? What will be the possible answer? What will be the possible answer to this? My answer to, to this will be data insufficient. Why? Let me, let, let me tell you why. So let me take two cases. In this case, the question has not given any distances at all. The question does not talk about distances. The question just tells the directions in which Neha has been walking in. Now, Neha walked like this. One case is that after taking this final turn, Neha's school is somewhere, let's say here. In that case, Neha's school from the original direction will be in this side. So this side is northeastern side. Right? Not a problem. Perfectly fine. But it is also a possibility that after taking this turn, let me draw it again, that after taking this turn, Neha school was right here. This was the original point. So in that case, Neha school's direction will be like this, which is a northwestern direction. So in this case, I will need another data point that is of the school's location. You know, that is where exactly, at how much distance the school is located from the last turn. So in this case, the data will be insufficient so we have to be cautious about these questions and you know let me let me repeat it once again or let me you know just draw it a little more carefully this one must be understood this is fine this is this one we got neha turned leftward so the school will be from the original point the school will be in this direction somewhere so it is a northwestern direction the original question if i modified this question a little and i said that instead of taking this left neha took a right in that case one case is Neha took a right and went a long distance and then her school arrived. Then also the question is easy, it's northeast. But if the if the situation was something like this, you know, let's say Neha took, took this, 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 and here her school arrived immediately. This is the original situation, and this is Neha's school. In that case, you can see the direction is northeast, not northwest. So two possible answers are there, which means the data is insufficient. We cannot say for sure that in which direction Neha schools falls, in, in which direction Neha school is there. So that is the answer for this one. That is the correct answer for this one. That data is insufficient. So now we'll solve a couple of more questions and then we'll move to the next chapter. Now let's take uh, some more questions on directions and distances. So most of the questions you will find will be of this nature that a person walked 10 meter in this side, 5 meter in this side and then 3 meter in that side, find the distance. 90% of the questions are like that only. So we have already solved that and all of them will be solved in the same manner. 
Now we'll take some new questions, some different kind of questions. Now let's say there is a question which says that there are two friends. There were two friends, uh, let's say, uh, you know, uh, Radhika and Apurva, and they were talking to each other. Right? These two girls were talking to each other. And they were talking to each other and they were talking face to face. So let's say, Radhika and Apurva, they were talking face to face. What is the meaning of face to face? That means as if I'm with you right now. Right? I mean, you would talk to somebody when somebody is standing next to you as well. But here, the person, the people are facing each other. So, they were talking face to face to each other. And they were talking at sunset. This is the question. They were talking at sunset. This is also given that they were talking at the sunset time. Now, the shadow of Radhika. Now, the shadow of Radhika is on her right side. Now, the shadow of Radhika is on her right side. Let me write it down. Shadow of Radhika is on her right. This has been given. Then which direction Apurva is facing? Which direction Apurva is facing? This is the question. Now this is a very easy question. Looks tricky, sounds tricky. But very easy. Now, fairly simple. What data do we have? First data do we have is Radhika and Apurva are face to face. That means direction Radhika is facing, Apurva is facing right opposite of that. If let's say for example, if Radhika is facing north, then Apurva will be facing south. If Radhika is facing east, Apurva will be facing west. Because they are face to face, it's as simple as that. So this is first thing. First data we have is this. Second is that there is a sunset time. And the shadow of Radhika is on her right. Now, why, why they have given that the time is of a sunset time? Because where does the sunset happen? The sunset happens on the west. We all know that. I mean, this much of GK, I presume you all have. I mean, if you don't have this much of GK, then go read some books first. That sun rises in the east and goes down in the west. That is most basic GK, right? I mean, a kindergarten student will know that. So, Sun sets in the west. Now, if sunset is happening in the west, just imagine, you know, just imagine yourself that if you take a torch, you know, ju just giving you an example, you take a torch and maybe hold the torch like I have been holding this pen and throw the light on you. Then, if the light is coming from this side, your shadow will naturally be formed on the opposite side. It's as simple as that. So, similarly, if sunset is happening, that means the sun is in the west. So the shadow will be shadow of Radhika will be forming on that on which side? The shadow of Radhika. This gives that the shadow of Radhika or the shadow of both of them. Shadow of Radhika will be on the east side. This has been given to us. Radhika's shadow is on the east side. We all know that because the sun is on the on the west side. Sun is on the west. So all the light is coming from the west. So everybody's shadow will be on the eastern side only. That has been given. Now we have ample data. Now, shadow of Radhika is on her right. That means Radhika is standing in such a way that the direction east is in her right side. Now it is solvable, right? So let's quickly draw that diagram. Now we all know this is Radhika. Let's say this is Radhika. We don't know where she is facing, but we, we, we have to find that out. And her shadow is in east. So this is shadow. This is the direction of shadow and we know that the shadow is in the right side of Radhika. Is on the right hand side of Radhika. So, if Radhika is facing this side, then the shadow is on the right hand side. We all know that. Right hand side is the clockwise side. So, that means Radhika is naturally facing north. Just see, if you know, suppose Radhika were facing south. In that case only, uh, you know, in that case, suppose Radhika were facing south. In that case, Radhika's shadow would have been on the left hand side of her. If Radhika were facing east, the, the shadow would have been in front of her. If Radhika were facing west, the shadow would have been behind her. But the question gives shadow is on the right hand side of her. And since it is on the right hand side, Radhika has to face north. If Radhika is facing north, we obviously know Radhika and Apurva, they are face to face. 
that means apurva is facing south question solved this is how easy these questions are but you just need to apply some mind so these are the tricky ones otherwise those questions are very simple we'll solve maybe one more of that as well that you know 10 meter in this side 20 meter in that side what is the distance 90% questions will be of that nature some questions are interesting ones i'm trying to solve those interesting questions for you people now next take another interesting question let's say there is a clock there is a wall clock and the wall clock has been turned in a way wall clock is not straight it has been turned in a way and it has been turned in such a manner that at 12 o'clock at 12 noon at 12 noon it shows north east direction at 12 noon its hand show north east direction so now the question is that what will be the direction what will be the direction of the our uh, our hand our hand h o u r our hand at 130 pm now again very simple you you remember that incident when i told you that just assume this whole thing is a wooden frame and if you rotate it by 45 degree in one direction the same thing will happen here in this question how i'll show you let's plot a clock 12 6 3 9 now this is my clock and at 12 pm this is a minute clock and this is the hour clock at noon this is how it works both the clocks are identical now generally no let me mark it as north east west south as well now this is north generally but it shows that at 12 noon this direction is north east so let me mark it as north east right if this is north east as simple as that i can simply say that this would be somewhere in between of north and east not a problem so let me mark it this way can i draw a proper diagram now that means this is north and this is east that means this is south and this is west is it correct or not is it correct or not if this is north east then this has to be north and this has to be east and if this is north this is south if this is east this is west now we are done it's as simple as that we are done now at 130 what is the situation of the hour hand at 130 how does the clock look the hour hand will be between 1 and 2 1 2 that means somewhere here and the minute hand will be here right so the hour hand will be in the eastern direction hour hand will be in the eastern direction and the minute hand will be if this this would ask you can see south west minute hand will be in the south west direction as simple as that you can simply answer this question once you once you get this much of data once you get this much of information so these two were the unique kind of questions that can be asked to you on the basis of direction and distance